Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and as you know, whenever there is a Shiksha Mantra, obviously there is something that's going to be very much interesting, very much tricky and very much calculative and also very much scientific to learn English grammar and to apply them in your practical field. Yes dear friends, as I feel and uh, obviously Everyone, every student would also have to feel the same. And what I mean? Whenever you try to learn something, you must learn it. Particularly, I'm talking of grammar here, though it's applicable for everything. You must learn how to use them and where to use them. Most of the times, we don't have the clarification of that why. How it goes? Let me uh, apply an example here. Suppose you have learned joining. Joining into simple sentences by using infinitives. Now the question arises, do you know? Why should you opt for infinitive in joining these two sentences? Why won't you go for participial phrases? Why won't you go for adverbial phrases? Why won't you use the rules of opposition to use your sentences and to join them up into a simple sentence. You have several options. If we calculate, at large, it could be eight different options. And uh, if you make it uh, strengthen, it would be five different options. Now the question is, why should you use all these different options? Why should you use any one of them? You must have a clarification. So here, we are going to discuss joining of sentences by using two two construction. Yes, dear friends, that's a very, very important discussion. Why? Because it's also very much essential for you to learn the use of two two. It's such frequently used. Uh, a connector in English language, we very frequently use them in written English, in spoken English. We use them in joining sentences, in transformation of sentences. So why should we use to to in joining sentences, particularly in simple sentence? And also, at the same time, I would like to tell you that whenever you are learning two two constructions, obviously you have to learn these two terms enough and for. Why? Because besides two two, we also use enough and for in those sentences. So most of the times we use two two, but we drop enough and for. So when you join sentences, you won't get the idea from where that enough and for had appeared. So today we would discuss in detail everything, whatever is there for two two constructions. So stay with us. We are going to make it clear for you. Just stay and listen. So dear friends, that Two two construction. It also has another option, and that is show that. So when we form simple sentence, just remember it. It's very simple. When we form simple sentences, we use two two constructions, and its parallel is so that what we use for complex sentences. So why have I told you about so that construction or complex sentences? Because it's easy for you to understand the situation where we use to to construction, where so that is used. 
so so that that means what it means reason yes dear friends it means reason and result something happened show that it produces that this result and with these sentences we have to use enough and for but first we have to learn what are the characteristics of the sentences for which we would use that to to construction so let's uh, discuss it first and uh, i think it would be better for us to learn these key points when we use to to it have a negative meaning yes dear friends this is the most important factor as i consider because most of the times i've found my students and generally uh, almost uh, every speaker they said i'm too busy or it's too good you'd find such sentences very frequently it's too good so when the speaker says this it's too good he means it's very good but too does not mean very only rather it has a negative sense so it's too good means it's not so much good as it should have been yes dear friends because too means more than what is necessary or desirable more than what is necessary or desirable that means some extravagant extra and whatever is extra we consider them what we consider them negative okay so two is very elusive you have to use it decisively okay so here we have two sentences first uh, let's learn these two sentences and find out what we can figure them out from i was very busy i could not talk to her so first you have to find out why should we use to to construction here for joining so the first thing that we have to consider are the verb i've told you in several discussions that whenever we do anything with english sentences for any grammar topic you have to find out the verb first you must begin from the verb so as we have found out i was very busy i could not talk to her here we have found two verbs was and could not talk so first is this sentence is affirmative this is the first consideration that we would have to make this is an affirmative sentence and for this sentence this is a negative sentence so these are the first two things that we must remember one sentence is affirmative and the other is negative and on the next consideration we have found out that i was very busy i could not talk to her so this is actually reason why i fail to talk to her that's the reason and this is the result so it has that reason result relation so when it contains a reason result relation we know it's quite well that it's going to be that show that construction so it's going to get closer to two to construction but why should we use it for two to and for not anything else we need another consideration so what's that consideration the consideration is obviously the subject i've told you subject and verb these are very important and here you'd find that we have same subjects for both the sentences so what we finally get we got three points first it is reason result relationship it's in reason result relation this is the first and foremost consideration that we have made if you understand this what i'm saying here 
the rest of the discussion would be very easy for you to understand so this is the most important factor so it's in reason result relation the two sentences sentence one and sentence two okay the second consideration is one is affirmative so the reason is affirmative and the result is negative so this is very very important thing to consider one sentence is affirmative and the other is negative two is itself negative so this affirmative negative construction is very very important though it's uh, also something that uh, would have to remember for here you'd get exception okay don't think whenever you'd get affirmative and negative sentences it would be two two no that's only a symbol that would support some process but we get different things as well and the third consideration is here we get same subject in both the sentences so these are the three considerations that we have met and we get the result i was too busy to talk to her so very this very had been transformed into two and you know it means it's negative in sense yes dear friends it's negative and here we have could not talk so we have transformed the talk into infinitive to talk got it it has been transformed into infinitive to talk and we have dropped that negative why because the negative is present there in two and as you know it's like algebra just remember it's like algebra as we say negative and negative they make positive and positive and negative they make negative positive and positive they make positive to you know it now so the same thing happens here as well when we have find what we have found we have found that there is one negative and the other affirmative so obviously the resultant sentence should contain the same one negative and the other affirmative and finally it would be transformed like this you have to use two for the sentence where very is and you have to use infinitive for the verb where we have the negative so this is the base of our discussion and when we get to this example we would check out if everything works here well or not okay so first he is very old he cannot walk our first task is to detect the verb we have detect the verbs verb 1 and verb 2 our second task is to find out the subjects and the subjects are the same our third point is reason result he is very old he cannot walk so if we ask why you have to remember this just use it why why he cannot work you would get the result here in the first sentence sentence number one if you ask why for the sentence number two you would get the result in sentence number one so it demands what it demands two two constructions and that had been decided now here we get very and it's affirmative and on the other hand we get cannot and it's negative so now we have made the decision that we would transform very into two and would get rid of cannot and use two for work so there would make the infinitive and here we'd use two old the negative okay so just if you follow it we have also transformed the negative into affirmative and the affirmative into negative he is very old it's affirmative but in our result sentence 
would get what would get it as negative too old he cannot work that's in negative but in the resultant sentence would get them as affirmative to work okay so this is how we transform it and would get the result he is too old to work he is too old to work look this is the verb 1 and this is the verb 2 here we have transformed it into infinitive and that's our goal and the result is a simple sentence yes dear friends this is how we would make our simple sentences by joining two or more sentences and here if it had been demanded what is the demand the demand is a complex sentence join into complex sentence so what would you do you would follow the same rules only that very would be replaced with show he is so old that he cannot work and the rest would remain just the same and here you would use that a conjunction okay and this is how you can very easily transform sentences so here when we are learning joining sentences we have already covered another very very important topic that is uh, transformation of sentences how to transform sentences to 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 show that or show that into to to or complex sentences into simple sentence and simple into complex okay so we have also learned that as well so we have learned the rules but what would happen if there we get an exception like this when both the clauses are affirmative yes dear friends there we have learned one affirmative and the other negative so as we have already discussed according to algebra you know minus minus makes plus plus minus makes minus and plus plus makes plus so here when we get both the clauses in affirmative it would come like this the dress is quite striking it draws attention so this is the second verb this is the first verb this is the subject and the subjects are the same it's also in reason and result format but the problem is here it's affirmative and here also it's affirmative and it's not negative that means we get two plus so when we transform this sentence obviously we transform quite into two so it would get negative so if it gets negative obviously we have to make this infinitive negative as well so the negative and negative minus and minus would make plus affirmative and that's how we do this like this one the dress is too striking not to draw attention so here too striking one negative and infinitive this one we have made it negative as well so minus and minus and both the minus would result into plus so that's our goal that's how we want to solve this problem and here i would Yes, dear friends, remember what I have said at the very beginning. I have told you about enough. So here, I would like to add this note. The dress is striking enough to draw attention. That's also a very, very essential learning that you must have while joining with Tutu. The dress is striking enough to draw attention. So here we are joining it by using infinitive and not two to constructions because it's uh, sometimes creates some problem here you may skip it and follow these rules the dress is striking enough look the dress is quite striking so we are replacing that quite with enough and we are using to draw and there actually plus and plus 
results into plus that means affirmative and affirmative result into affirmative because here enough is not negative like two so this is how we can manage these sentences but problem may arise else where as you know we have what we have more problem more exceptions what would happen if we get different subjects so far we were discussing sentences with the same subjects but what would happen if the subjects are different yes dear friends that's why i have told you that reason result is the most important factor the sense and all the others could change same subjects here we may get different subjects affirmative negative here we may get both affirmative yes dear friends so here we have an example the box was very heavy the boy could not lift it the box was very heavy look this is the first subject and this is the second subject should name them as subject one and subject two they aren't the same the box was very heavy and the boy could not lift it so this eat here the first subject returns the box was very heavy the boy could not lift it so here we get the subject one and uh, the other are just the same it's also reason and result you get the verb so this is verb one and verb two you'd use two for very it would become negative and there you'd use infinitive in positive or affirmative format and you'd get the answer like this the box was very heavy for the boy to lift have you noticed something problematic here the box was very heavy for the boy to lift yes dear friend this is what we must understand the box was very heavy for the boy to lift okay so we have dropped it and if you like you may use it as well there's no problem but the use of for and the use of enough is very very essential as we get different subjects what we have done we have replaced that very with two so it would be the box was too heavy for the boy to leave and that's the resultant sentence that we have so what's the final result that we get from here we would transform this sentence as the box was too heavy for the boy to lift and now that final repetition of the same subject it i don't know whether you'd like it or not you have the option you may use it or not but according to me it's better not to use it rather put your full stuff here and close the sentence for the boy to lift that's a modern approach and that sounds well so this is what we have to learn about two to constructions all its different aspects how to manage them where to use them and everything there we have used that enough as well and what's the difference between enough and two if you want to learn it if you want a discussion regarding this write it down in the comment section below we are returning very soon with that discussion here in shiksha mantra till then bye bye happy learning